This time, let's talk about how to improve a simple drop shot rig. During past couple weeks, I have discovered that predatory fish don't want to go to the bottom to feed. I guess it's related to water getting cooler and they hunt in upper or middle layers of the water. Seems that the fish are not in particular areas, so you have to jig for them. But still, if you want to catch them off the bottom, you want to use some rig which presents the lure of the bottom. So, for that purpose, the drop shot rig is very good. But I have discovered that drop shot rig is not as effective as you cast out and retrieve. As we know, drop shot rig is the most effective when you can present it absolutely vertically. So, I came up with my variation of drop shot rig, which actually solves three main prob problems of classic drop shot rig. It actually presents the lure better, it casts better, and also hooking properties are much better. So, without further delays, let's take a closer look how we tie this rig and also how this rig works mechanically. To tie this rig I will need an eyed hook, special weight with special swivel and lure of choice. Also I will need my hook link. Just to mention I have already attached my hook link to my braided line using Albright's knot and I will put a little link in the corner to explain how to tie Albright's knot. And now let's form this drop shot rig. Let's grab our hook and before threading the hook onto the line we want to form a small surgeon's knot. like that, but we don't want to pull it tight as yet. Then we want to grab our hook and thread it onto the line, starting from the opposite side than the hook's point. Then we want to thread the tag end through the middle of that surgeon's knot, just like that. We are aiming to have a hook in very small loop. So now we want to grab that surgeon's knot and a hook and holding our tag end do five wraps around the hook link. And then we want to grab that tag end and pass it through the surgeon's knot, which is not pulled tight yet. Now we want to start pulling it. Just before pulling it tight, we want to wet it. And now it would be very good time to do it. After that we want to pull it tight, making sure that the loop is preserved where the hook is held. As you can see, our hook now is moving freely in a very small loop. Also, you have to remember that it's not very important that the hook would be pointing to the opposite direction than the weight, because it's moving and the, when the fish will pick it up, it will turn and hook the fish. So now we want to put our weight on.
like that. And now, of course, we want to put our lure of choice onto the hook. Uh, just to mention, you can nose hook the lure just like that or you can thread it on a little bit. I prefer threading it on a little bit. Maybe let's straighten up a little bit. So, and as a result, we have the lure and the hook which moves. So when you will be casting out and the angle of the line and the bottom will not be 90 degrees so not the right angle and when you will be jigging your lure will always follow your line in in more or less horizontal position so it means that it is presented much better and much more naturally and also when the fish grabs it the hook will be able to to move and hook the fish and also this rig has better aerodynamic properties because when you will be casting it the lure and the hook just will be in line with the with the direction where the lead is dragging it and as a result it will cast better and further just to mention this exact setup a couple weeks back did catch me my personal best perch which pulled the scales down to 1 kilo 350 grams and now let's compare this rig to classic drop shot rig which has the hook always at 90 degrees with the line So as you can see, the drop shot, the classic drop shot rig is always pointing down and when the angle will, with the line will not be right, so after you cast out forward and retrieve it, more or less the lure will stay in this position when you will be dragging. So and with this variation of my rig when you will be dragging because of the water uh, friction and uh, the lure will be always in this position when you will be dragging the rig onto the bottom and as I mentioned the fish once it it will get interested into the lure and will suck it in it will be hooked much quicker because the hook and the lure can move as you just saw, this rig is very simple to tie and yet very effective. I hope you guys will try out this rig and catch some nice fish on it. Thanks for watching. Bye!